Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Today's video is a little different than what you guys have seen in the past because I'm gonna take you through a preview of the IXO from Unicor. All right, the Unicor IXO is coming out soon. I've had a ton of people reach out to me asking, what is the price for the Unicor IXO? What are the specifications? You know, what are the different things that it's gonna offer inside of the software? And so because that product's launching in the next month, I've gathered up as much information as possible and we're gonna kind of show it to you in that format and then go over it throughout the video. Video, all right, so first off, I just want you to kind of take a look at the first screen that we're on here. This is the new software that will be included with the Unicor IXO. It is called View. So the QED Unicor system came with Ignite and they're going to do a new base software called View. And you'll see the first screen here is where you're going to select your user. Um, so let's go ahead and show that demonstration and then we'll pick it back up. All right, so the next screen you're going to see here is where you're going to initially select your club. And then we're gonna go ahead and let a couple shots fire off and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what's available there. So this is the initial screen where you would select your view. You can obviously see the shot trajectories. Um, you know, it shows the scent angle, flight time, face to path, club face angle, uh, carry total, smash factor. Um, you can see the speeds are circled there. Um, new technology with the IXO offering uh, very accurate club data using stickers so if you're really trying to do club fitting um, you know it has some pretty amazing data that is being captured with the new sticker technology that you can put on clubs now this unit that's being placed three and a half feet in front of the ball instead of behind the ball also offers some additional data like angle of attack i know a lot of people might have missed that uh, when the initial announcement came out but angle of attack is actually included as a data point and i'll go over all those data points here in just a little bit but uh, for right now let's go ahead and just continue and we'll look at the next screenshot now i really like this right here where you can select each club and look at that top down dispersion of that club and the different shots along with that side view of trajectory for each club that you're hitting. Uh, very good information. And then if we go just a little bit further here, you'll notice that there is the cluster that's available for dispersion. So you can actually look at each club and the cluster of balls that you hit for each one, and that way you can actually see that shot dispersion overhead. I just think that's awesome data. You can obviously see below as well the different data points. Um, really great way of displaying data. Now here is where things get really interesting in my opinion. This advanced camera technology, okay, using this uh, Unicor optics feature, look how close of a view they are getting on the ball hitting the club. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, you can actually literally see exactly where it's hitting on the face and it has a couple different views available as well where you can zoom in. Um, let's go ahead and just move forward to that real quick. Take a look at that zoomed in ball impact. I mean, you can see the ball compressing. I just think that's uh, fantastic, that zoom capability that they have with this new optics feature. I'm sure that's gonna be a big hit. So this screen here is showing you the data per the grouping that you have. So if you were looking at your nine iron, for example, here, you can see all of the different data points. You have your distance data points, your smash factor, the speeds, the spin data points, uh, the angle data points, and then the apex and the time, and then the type of shot it was. I think that's just fantastic. You can look down at the bottom and it gives you averages for each of those clubs. So now I'm gonna take you through the brochure and details of the Unicor IXO. So let's go ahead and just start things off here. So I think the most talked about thing so far with the new Unicor IXO is the non-marking ball technology. So currently the Unicor QED is using marked balls to measure that spin and to measure the speed of the ball, but the new Unicor IXO 
is now allowing you to choose which ball you want to play with because it's using dimple technology to measure the spin of the ball. So this is all new and uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to see the data and accuracy of this non-marking ball technology. All right, so I said I wanted to talk about the data points that were going to come with the Unicor IXO. And here we go, let's take a look at the ball data. So you have your back spin, your side spin, your total spin, and your spin axis, and then the ball impact on the club face. Obviously, uh, you'll know if that's accurate because you're gonna have a zoomed in image of it showing where it hit on the club, which is very cool. The club data, it will include smash factor, club speed, club path, club face angle, and attack angle. That's what I wanted to make sure I pointed out there. Um, the club loft angle, the club lie angle, the impact point vertical, and the impact point horizontal. So um, that club data can be read with uh, those reflective stickers, obviously, for ultimate accuracy. And we're definitely going to be doing some testing. Um, and I didn't mention that earlier. Um, look for videos upcoming once we get this installed in the studio. And we will make sure to do extensive testing so you guys can see how it's performing. Obviously, we talked about the Unicor Optics technology. Um, you can enjoy in more enhanced club data. And then this new swing optics system that is coming out is very exciting for swing cameras. We will also be testing that. So look forward to videos coming with the new swing optics technology. And then you can look at uh, the swing optics camera views um, and the different lighting, obviously built in training tools where you can draw lines. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, very exciting to know that there is a new PowerU cloud service coming. That's going to allow you to take this data and actually upload it to a cloud, all right, which I believe is myunicore.com. Yeah, it's an online platform. It's gonna give players the ability to collect and connect with IXO customers and students. I mean, that's just, that's amazing. I think that's fantastic that they're going down that route. I mean, this will really allow, you know, the PGA professionals to get heavily involved with training and using the Unicor IXO for, you know, full swing analysis, club fitting, um, you know, swing training, etc. cetera. Uh, I just think that's uh, really amazing that they decided to, you know, build a cloud platform to allow that type of connectivity. You can see there's even notes that are gonna be available. So when the student logs in, they will be able to, you know, set notes and read notes back and forth um, with different groups of people that are invited. So I think that that is going to be very powerful for the PGA professionals and uh, amateurs alike. The next slide you're going to see is the IXO installation. Uh, that is going to be different from the QED, as I mentioned before, three and a half feet in front of your tee instead of behind. Um, still going on the ceiling, still in the center. Um, you know, I think that uh, that's really cool. You know, having that ball, I think you're gonna get uh, even more accuracy, you know, and fine tuning of launch angles, etc. cetera. So, uh, you know, and then obviously that camera being able to face, you know, instead of being more of an over top, being able to almost face that club impact position uh, is just, you know, really, really gonna give you a great view, obviously, which, you know, we've already seen with that zoomed in technology. So real quick, just to, you know, uh, talk about the specifications. The one thing that really stuck out to me is that there's four infrared boards on this unit, um, not just in the center, but on the outside. Um, so obviously they're pumping that up a little bit. Um, it's a gigabit interface, which obviously that data is gonna be able to move as fast as possible. And then you'll notice how small the unit is, even with the bracket, just over four inches. Um, and then 14 total pounds, including the bracket. It's only a 10 pound unit. I mean, they've really taken the form factor down on the IXO, which I thought was very impressive. So, um, you know, if you're wondering how big this unit is, it's significantly smaller than the QED, something to pay attention to. All right, so to wrap things up here, we have our final slide for the pricing and contact information. There are going to be three different packages similar to the QED. The new Unicor IXO has the View software with the basic package, which replaces Ignite that comes with the QED. That's a $10,000 price point. 
and then $1,000 increments from there get you the Refine and the Succeed platforms, which include five courses with Refine and 24 Succeed. And this is, all, all this information is obviously current for the date that was uh, this video was recorded. So keep that in mind. All right, compatible software, E6 Connect, TGC 2019, and Creative Golf 3D. There's some very important information here. So existing QED owners can upgrade to the IXO and get a $4,500 credit for their QED unit that they send in after installing the IXO. Uh, and that also is capable of transferring your refine and succeed purchase to the, the IXO. So you could purchase the view unit for $10,000, get a $4,500 credit, and then you would only have $5,500 invested um, and you could even be on your Succeed software that you were on previously. So some, some really, really big value there to keep in mind. Now, if you're not a current Unicor owner, um, you know, you still have some great options. Um, I wanna make sure everybody understands that if you email me, I'll get you more information. I'll get you some special software packages that we're offering. Um, and obviously we'll take care of you in the best of way. I work with some fantastic partners. My goal personally is to provide you with the best content so you can get your own opinion and make a great decision. I'm here to help. Let me know what I can do. My email is right there. I hope you guys have a great day.